All right, this lesson's about algorithms, and, and we're using this Android logo app, and, and there's a starter app you can use um, that you should see on the screen here if you want to go get it and try it. And, and my assignment for you, and, and definitely stop the video and try this um, before you look at the solution, but it was to draw some squares of various sizes, okay, and then try to draw a face. So some different algorithms for, for making art with this Android logo. Okay, the forward command moves... Um, the Android dude exactly 10 pixels, okay, and turn turns exactly 90 degrees, okay, so how can you use those commands um, to draw some stuff? So let's, you know, I'm going to give you a couple solutions. First is, let's do a draw 2020, and I'm not going to, I'm not going to draw, you know, put my algorithm, put my blocks right in the draw. I'm going to create a new procedure, so I'm going to go over to the procedures area and grab a two procedure, and I'm going to call this procedure draw 20 by 20. Okay, and my goal is to draw a square of um, 20 by 20 pixels. Okay, and what I'm going to end up doing is calling draw 20 20 from inside the draw function. That way, you know, when I click on the draw button, that causes draw to be called in. We'll call and do whatever I have in here. Okay, so we're going to go, you know, we definitely want to go forward a couple times because that'll draw 20. So I'm going to go grab a call forward block. All right, and we're going to copy that a few times. I know that, and I'm going to grab a turn. So we're going to have to turn to make our square. Okay, so that's the basic way to kind of do things. Those are the two main blocks. I'm going to Command C, Command B, and put another forward in there. So 10. Let's move 10, 20, and then turn, and then we kind of just want to repeat that a few times. Okay, so I'm going to call forward, call forward. Okay. And then I need to turn again. And essentially, I just need to do all this stuff four times. So it's just kind of some laborious um, repeating of these commands, I think, to get my square done. So I'm just copying and pasting with Command C and Command B. And then that should give me a square. Okay. So forward twice, turn, forward twice, turn, forward twice, turn, forward twice. I'm going to put another turn at the end so we'll be back facing the way we started. Okay, I've got my phone projecting on the screen. Let's test our app. So just, you know, we've got a sub procedure that will draw a 20 by 20 square, we think. And we know this draw procedure is going to call it. Okay, and we know when the button uh, draw is clicked, it will call draw. So I'm going to touch draw on my phone. And let's see if a square gets drawn. Well, it kind of looks like a square. You know, one thing you got to do is hide Click the hide button, it'll hide the Android dude so you can see what you drew. And in fact, there's our 20 by 20 square. So we've got, we've now got a new block that we can use anytime we want to draw a 20 by 20 square. And that's the beauty of procedures, right? They're, they're like subroutines that you can, you've all of a sudden kind of increased, you, you, you've made your app invariant language better with a new block. And this block happens to draw a square. Okay? Now, I'm not going to do the whole draw a face. So the, the idea with draw a face is draw a big square, a couple squares for the eyes, maybe one for the nose, one for the mouth. Okay, but what I'm going to try to do is draw two squares um, kind of next to each other. Okay, so I'm going to do a call, draw 2020. Okay, and no, you know, note I could reuse this procedure. So I could call it again. All right, so if I just did that, um, you know, should I get two squares? Let's, let's try that out. So I'm going to reset. Okay, and I'm going to click draw. And it looks like I got the same thing. In fact, I do. What's happening is the Android dude is just going around and drawing the square right on top of each other. Okay. So before we draw the second square, I know I need to to get out of there, move forward. So I'm gonna I'm gonna call forward a couple times in between. Okay. And that way the squares won't be right over each other. Okay. So let's try to. I don't. I think we're gonna go right, but let's just get away from the first square. All right, so let's try this one. If I reset, okay, now I'm going to press draw, and let's see what we got. I guess we could hide in our in our function, but okay, we're getting pretty close. Looks like we've got some kind of glasses turned on the side, right? Some sunglasses or something. Uh, but the one thing I want to show you is this line in between here. Okay, I've got my two squares, which is what I wanted, but when I did these forwards. You know, at least one of them, you know, some of them were over my square, but
but this one I don't want. I want that to be blank. I don't want to draw while I'm moving to the place where I want to draw the second square. Okay, so the nice thing you can do, there's also a block that, you know, this is just a block that, that we created for you. It's a procedure we created for you, but there's two blocks, one pin down and one pin up. Okay, and the pin is down by default. So what pin down means is when you go forward, something gets drawn. If you do a pin up after that, nothing gets drawn. The Android dude just moves around. Okay, so I'm going to go and call pin up. Okay, and I'm going to do that after I draw the first square. And then after I kind of move away, then I'm going to go grab pin down again. So before I draw my second square. Okay, so this is a pretty general pattern. Draw something, put the pin up, go where you want, put the pin back down, and draw your next thing. Okay, that's how you can draw. Like to do the face, you're going to have to do that in between your, your um, eyes and your nose and your mouth. Okay, so I'm going to test this. I'm going to touch reset. And now I'm going to touch draw. And remember, draw is going to do all, all this stuff. So I'm going to touch draw. And let's hide the Android guy. I just press hide. And good. I've got my two squares. And notice the, the bridge that was in between them is, is now gone. So that's, that's kind of how you can use pin up and pin down to, to get places. Okay, so hopefully this, this gives you what you need if you're having problems with the, the assignment of drawing face, drawing square, but play around with this stuff. Um, you know, one last thing. If I wanted to now call this guy draw two squares, okay, um, I don't know if that's a helpful sub procedure or not that I might want to use elsewhere, but I could certainly kind of go grab it and say draw two squares or whatever I want to name it. And I could just move all this stuff in there, right? And then in my draw function, I could just call draw two squares. Okay, if I reset, click draw, and I'm hide, I'm going to get the same exact thing as, as before. Okay, so the key is, you know, you can always move complexity, details, into another procedure, and then just kind of get this almost hierarchically organized um, app or blocks that you can that you can use some some very detailed and then some that are more useful that you can that, that really kind of hide I want to get you ready for the for the next lesson and, and what we're going to talk about in there is is parameters and repeat loops okay um, you know so if you tried to do the draw 50 50 and let me just bring it up here because I, I created created a version of it um, you know it's pretty laborious you need a bunch of forwards just to get the thing to go 50 and the problem is the forward block always goes 10 pixels. There's no way to say go forward some number, okay? And that's where a parameter would come in. I'm gonna show you in the next lesson how to say, how to create a block forward in where you, you know the caller can say how far they want the thing to go forward. So that will help, right? And also, you know, you know, we've got some repetition in our algorithms, right? We do the same thing four times, all right? And the nice thing about a computer language is they have repeat loops, and you'll be able to say, look, do this four, four, four times. And in fact, what you're going to use is called a for range or for each number, and you'll just do this stuff and put it once, and you'll say do it in this, you know, four times, not five. Okay? So we're going to work on that in the next lesson, and, and once you, you know, that's pretty important stuff for, for learning how to be a good programmer and computer science scientist.